So you're a little fired up about property taxes in Texas. Well, you're not alone. Whether you're moving here from another area or you already live here and you're fed up that your tax valuation keeps going up and up and up, maybe you paid for your house. It's paid for. You no longer have a mortgage. There's no debt. But you're still having to make a payment every single year because you have property taxes. That's the reality here in the great state of Texas. There are other taxes that we're not as burdened with, but property taxes are a very real thing. You usually hover somewhere between two and a half and 3%. You own a million dollar home, that's a lot of money. If you own a $100,000 home, that's a lot of money. We're not getting around that. Politicians can blow smoke all day long about how they're gonna lower them or they're gonna get rid of them. The fact of the matter is we got property taxes here and they're not going anywhere. So what do we do about it? How could you reduce the cost of your home ownership by thousands of dollars every year? It's actually pretty simple. Let me explain it to you really quickly. Number one, homestead exemption. We're gonna talk about a few different exemptions. We're not gonna get into cost saving, energy saving stuff, although those are other ways you could save hundreds if not thousands of dollars a year. We'll probably do a video later on all the ways to save money on home ownership, but this one is about getting that tax burden on your home down. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna use a $500,000 home just as an example. So your homestead exemption, this applies if this is your home, if this is your primary residence. If you own a property as a rental unit and someone else rents it out, that's not your homestead and it can't be their homestead because they don't own it and you don't own it as your home. Homestead exemption is when you own a house that you live in as your primary residence and you have let the local taxing authority know that is my home. When that happens, again, using a $500,000 home as an example, let's say your annual tax bill on a $500,000 home is 13 or $14,000. Somewhere in that two and a half to three percent of your property value is that annual tax rate. So let's just call it $14,000 for this one. All right, if you had a homestead exemption, somewhere between 10 and 15% of that amount will be reduced and you don't have to pay that. You have an exemption because it's your home and tax code is written to incentivize you. We want our local communities and economies to be filled with homeowners because when we own a house, we pay for lawn maintenance, we pay for energy and electric and water and sewer and trash and we go to stores and we participate in the economy. Our government, our taxing authorities have said, hey, we'll give you a little tax benefit if you do that, if you buy a house and you live in it. So the benefit there, $500,000 home, about a $14,000 annual tax burden that you owe, tax bill you owe. If it's a homestead, that's probably gonna come down somewhere between $1,400 and $2,000, 10 to 15%. All things said and done, if you wanna save about $1,500, $1,400 to $2,000 on your $500,000 house every single year, then you would be completely crazy not to file for your homestead exemption. And you just let the local taxing authority, your, your county appraisal district, know that I'm filling out the form to apply for my homestead exemption. I'm sending you proof that I live there and a bill and my driver's license has the address to, at the same address, all those kind of things. You send it in and then the next year when your bill comes up, and sometimes they'll go retroactively back for a year and they'll say, okay, your bill would have been this, but now it's this, it's gone down because you have this exemption. So that's that's the number one way, if you own a home and you live in it, you need to get your homestead exemption. And then that will apply every year that you live there until something changes, until you move away, or maybe you apply for a different exemption, like an over 65 exemption. So if you're 65 years older, years old or older, once you hit 66, I think technically, then there's a new kind of exemption and the percentage discount actually goes up a little bit. You save a little bit more money. There are disability exemptions. There are other kinds of exemptions. So we're not gonna go through all of them now, but you need to take advantage of the exemptions that your local appraisal district offers. Take advantage of the best one available to you at all times. Now, this isn't something you need to be revisiting every single year. You'll get your homestead exemption. That'll probably be the best one for you until you're over 65. And then that'll probably be the best one for you forever. There are a few others that might apply in rare situations, but go get those exemptions. That is money in your pocket, money that you do not have to pay to the local school district, the local hospital building plan, the county, 
or the other taxing authorities in your area. Depending on where you live, they're different taxing authorities and different rates of taxation. But big picture, you want to save thousands of dollars a year. If you own a nice home, then you need to go file those exemptions. If you don't like the taxes, look, yay, me too. Not a whole lot we can do about it. You know, use your vote, be active. You can protest your tax valuation every year. And in, in a good year where you have legitimate data, you might be able to get the evaluation of your home to come down with the taxing authority. Then the tax rate on that new lower value would ultimately end up with the lower tax bill as well. But the number one thing that you can do that requires very little effort and that would apply year in and year out is to go get your homestead exemption or if you're over 65, get that over 65 exemption. It is that simple. Almost every county appraisal district in the state of Texas has a website where you can go click a simple button, get an application, fill it out, and save a bunch of money. If they don't have a website, call them, ask them how you do this, get it done. It's worth whatever inconvenience is involved to go and get this done to not pay those extra taxes. If you just want to pay a bunch of extra taxes, you are free to do that. I don't. And I don't know many people who do. So go get your tax exemption. Put that money towards something that would increase your property value or the lifestyle or the utility of it or college or retirement savings or something that you want to and not just additional taxes when you have been invited and incentivized by the taxing authority to take advantage of that exemption. Hopefully this has been valuable for you. Check out the rest of the channel. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Comment below. We read every single one. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. We'll keep making videos to help you find great homes, sell great homes, and enjoy homeownership more. I'll talk to you on the next one.